Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, I told y'all when I got more information on this situation, I will fill you guys in on what's going on. Now, this is definitely an unfortunate situation, and come to find out, it's all over a man. All right, which is usually the case when other women go this far as to killing the next woman, which is completely saddening. Now, keep in mind that everything is alleged and for entertainment purposes only. Now, when the story first broke about 23-year-old Kayla Hoxson being found dead in her home, it was all a mystery as to what happened. Everyone was startled, including her family and close friends, because they couldn't believe that someone would do such a thing to someone like Kayla. Now, Kayla was a well-known bartender in the Florida area who a close friend as well as employer described her as being, quote, she was really sweet, she was the life of the party, she always had kind words. All right. Now, on July 13th, in the Tameric Village Apartments, located in the 9300 block of Northwest 57th Street, around 3 p.m., deputies responded after the body of a woman was found unresponsive in her apartment complex. She was later identified by family and friends, but no signs of any suspects at the time. On the following Monday, July 25th, 2022, Broward officials obtained a warrant for 28-year-old Sakina Thompson through investigative means, and on Wednesday, August 3rd, Thompson was taken into custody by New York Police Department by officers in Springfield Gardens, New York. She was being held at the Rose M. Singer Center on Rikers Island, which is a jail facility for women, but she'll be extradited back to Broward County, where she'll face a charge of first-degree murder. A quick glance through Thompson's Instagram shows that she was a very popular nail technician in New York, so what would force her to throw it all away and kill another female? Well, upon research, we learned that this was most certainly a crime of passion. A rumor has it that Thompson has a boyfriend who's a well-known scammer and loved to shower her with designer clothes, jewelry, and a lavish lifestyle. And as if this whole situation ain't enough, we also learned that Thompson is five months pregnant. Now, throughout her Instagram page and TikTok, you can see Thompson boot up with her man, and even signs of domestic altercations with him are clear. Whereas in one video, she's seen beating on him with the caption that reads, quote, Why I don't think I'll be a goof's girlfriend? Because I put hands on mine, I'm always fighting. Now, despite the people these days that promote that toxic behavior, just know that putting your hands on your partner in a relationship is never the ideal thing to do. And in fact, it's little signs like that that raise red flags when you're dealing with someone because ultimately you could find yourself in prison or caught up in a situation just like this one here. Now, we're being told that Thompson somehow found out that Kayla and her boyfriend was allegedly having an affair. Thompson managed to find out where Kayla lived, went to her house, and stabbed Kayla to death. Now, the craziness don't stop there neither. After killing Kayla, she allegedly took a shower in Kayla's apartment, put on Kayla's clothes, left the bloody towels there, and took a flight back to New York with the bloody clothes like nothing ever happened. Now the story gets crazier because after the news came out about what she did all over her hometown in Queens, New York, being that she's a popular nail technician, everyone began talking. We had other women posting screenshots of Thompson threatening them over the same boyfriend and sharing stories about their occurrences with her as well. And when as far as the ex-man she dated before a current one, he made a meme that went viral around New York, pretty much indicating that he dodged a bullet. Now it's been known that she was crazy about him as well during their relationship. Now going back to the situation with Thompson and Kayla, once again as more details emerge, I'll keep you guys updated. Because after learning this information, I still have a lot of questions and concerns. One of them being, how did Thompson know where Kayla lived in the first place? Did the boyfriend tell on her? Um, or maybe she went through his phone and found out where or what? But how did she find out where this young lady lived? Um, if it does come out that she was told where Kayla lived, I feel that the person that did it 
instructed her where to go should be penalized as well because now someone is dead behind you instructing someone on where another person lived. And I never understood someone who would kill over another person relationship wise because now look, this girl was five months pregnant, went and killed another girl over a man that's going to be messing with other girls while she's now incarcerated possibly for the rest of her life. So it's a lose-lose situation for her. Also, I wonder if Kayla and Thompson knew of each other prior. Um, just so we can learn what actually led up to this. Was they arguing back and forth or did Thompson just decide to show up and kill her after maybe catching him texting or calling her or whatever the case may be. Now, also, what if Kayla didn't even know that he was in a relationship or maybe he lied? I know a lot of the times a man won't even tell a woman he's having an affair with that he's actually seeing someone else on the side as well. So she might have not even knew that dude was in the whole relationship, but now she met her faith through, you know, um, a situation as fortunate as this. Whether she did know or not, that don't excuse the fact that this lady committed a crime out of passion. Now, the irony that when you look in the comments on social media, you have some women praising Thompson for her behavior like it's cool. Toxic behavior like this is never cool and it's all fun and games until you're left behind bars for the rest of your life and now you want remorse. But um, as of right now, people are saying that the motive is due to Kayla and this individual having an affair and I wonder how he feels. You know, knowing that someone was killed over his foolishness or him and his woman's foolishness. At the end of the day, no one deserves to die over something so petty just like this. Um, Kayla family... I know that probably now that they see that what's going on, at first they wanted closure because nobody knew what was going on. It was a mystery. And nobody expected someone to just kill Kayla like that. And it makes sense because if she was as sweet as people describe her to be, and I'm sure she was, why would someone just come to her apartment complex and kill her? Other than this reason here. You know, um, it makes sense. It all flows together. It's kind of... Like I said, it's unfortunate, man. But this, these things like this always go down, always go on. Um, a lot of people encourage this behavior. They think that it's cool. They think that it's funny, but it's not, man. You don't understand the people that you affect with situations just like this, especially if Kayla had no awareness of what was going on. Um, they say that Thompson was, in fact, five months pregnant at the time of her arrest. Which is also crazy because if you go on her TikTok, you can see her drinking liquor, celebrating a birthday that just passed. So it's like she knows she's pregnant, but she's out drinking liquor. <sighs> like I said, it's just an unfortunate situation. It's, we don't know, man. But as details come and emerge, we definitely will keep you guys updated on what's going on. Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments about this whole situation. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.